young men of color are being stopped and frisked in numbers that are really sort of shocking. New York City arrests 140 people every single day for possessing tiny amounts of marijuana. 85% of the people who are arrested are black and Latino. Affluent younger whites in particular use marijuana in equal if not greater numbers. Marijuana possession is a crime for some folks but it's not a crime for others. People think of these arrests as sort of a minor thing, a minor disruption to people's lives, but the truth is these arrests can have drastic and devastating consequences for people. They're almost all uh, either teenagers or young people. They uh, wind up with permanent criminal records that follow them for the rest of their days that can bar them from housing, jobs, credit, a whole range of occupations. I mean, for a bag of weed, they think it's a joke. It's not a joke playing with people's freedom. There's absolutely no precedent. There's no precedent in New York City. There's no precedent in the United States. There's no precedent anywhere in the world. Singapore doesn't do this. It's criminalizing a generation of young people. The marijuana arrests do not reduce drug use. They do not reduce marijuana use. And they do not reduce crime. Treat the citizen like a citizen. Tell me I have to do something about it. You know, it, it, it needs to be stopped. I got arrested about 34 times due to drugs over and over again.